And when former St. Tammany Sheriff's Jack Strain stood trial on rape and incest charges, survivors had very different experiences in court. Yeah, they did. And for the first time since the trial, our partners at the Times Picayune, New Orleans Advocate, and I got to sit down with two of them. Now, one of them felt empowered, while the other felt powerless. Civil lawsuits can provide healing for survivors in cases like this, but Louisiana is at a major crossroads about who can sue over sex abuse. Mark Finn is the first of former St. Tammany Sheriff Jack Strain's abuse victims to speak openly and publicly about his abuse, helping to bring down the sheriff's house of cards when he first opened up to me and Sarah Pagonis with the New Orleans Advocate in 2019. I mean, it's embarrassing to say this, but the records show it. I got over 20 something years in prison. Finn spoke with us again from behind bars after a jury found Strain guilty of a number of charges, including aggravated rape and aggravated incest. This has been the hardest thing in my life to do, to stay alive. Finn has been in and out of jail his entire adult life for more than 20 years, and experts say his crimes are likely fallout from the rapes and abuse he endured as a child at the hands of strain. Finn recently got out of jail again with a huge smile on his face and open arms. His wounds are deep, and so are the wounds strain's abuse inflicted on his mom, Pat. She had to hear everything what this sick individual did to me. You said, Mama, I'm so sorry I had to put you through this. And I said, no, Mark, I'm sorry that I wasn't there and I didn't know what you went through. A few weeks after Strain was sentenced, Pat Finn passed away. I know she's at a better place now. And she fought. She held she held on and did everything she could to stay alive for her baby boy, Mark. I love you, Mom. While former Sheriff Jack Strain's criminal trial was cathartic for Finn, it created more wounds for some of Strain's other victims. The mother of one survivor agreed to speak with me without her name being used to protect her son. Quote, when the FBI came after him, he thought he was the only one who knew. It changed the man he was to something different. They took a grown adult and put him back in a child's mind. You may remember the strain case started as a public corruption probe. Some of the sex abuse victims were blindsided when others opened up to federal investigators. The mother said, quote, we had a hard time understanding why we were forced to testify when we didn't come forward and make the complaint. For many sex abuse survivors, civil lawsuits against their abusers are a way to take control and get justice. Prior to the 1990s, Louisiana law only allowed them to file civil suits for one year after the abuse happened, meaning under that old law, Finn would have had to file suit against Strain while he was still a child. Attorney Christy Schubert has represented more than 100 sex abuse survivors, and she calls the old laws unfair. The average age that somebody first comes forward to reveal that they've been sexually abused as a child, the average age is 52. In 2021, Louisiana lawmakers changed that law and gave past abuse survivors a window of three years to go back and file a civil claim. Under this window, anybody whose case expired under those old unfair laws, they can bring their case under the window no matter how old they are now and no matter how long ago the abuse occurred. Finn was hoping that would mean justice for him too. He filed a civil lawsuit against Strain in 2020. There was no remedy in the criminal trial of Jack Strain for any kind of restitution. The lower court threw Finn's lawsuit out, saying it had prescribed under those unfair laws. But he made his case before Louisiana's First Circuit Court of Appeal Monday morning to get another shot at it. But there's a wrinkle in all of this. Abuse survivors and attorneys are likely to pack this building on Monday. Where am I? The Louisiana Supreme Court. The court is scheduled to hear a Catholic Church sex abuse case. In it, the attorneys for the church are arguing that the look back window violates the abuser's constitutional rights. If the court holds that that's true, it could affect all of the look back window cases, including Mark Finn's. And the clock is ticking for those who have yet to file. The window closes June 14th, 2024. 
While Mark felt like the trial and the lawsuit freed him, he says he understood why some of Strain's other victims wanted to remain anonymous. I could feel his pain. He didn't want to put his family or his mom or anybody through the pain. Advocates are hopeful the court will uphold the new law, giving survivors one last chance at justice. Sex abuse victims are now able to get restitution in criminal cases because of a change in the law as well. Now, Finn has been talking with other abuse survivors since speaking publicly, and that has really given him new purpose and healing as well. And you can read much more on all of this online and in tomorrow's Times Picayune New Orleans Advocate.